now that we have the anchor bolt plan pretty well laid out, the next thing that we need to do is to do the enlarged plan of this area right here. Again, this is all going to be done in the same drawing. There is no reason to duplicate that as we can do everything that we need to in this same drawing and control how we set up the layers so we can turn things on and off in our viewports. So this is how we're going to begin. I'm going to zoom in and on this particular drawing, I need to look back at my drawing and you see there is a base plate detail. Basically the plate itself is 12 inches by 12 inches and it's a half inch thick. The column again was per the table, which we already looked at. The anchor bolts, it has four anchor bolts. If I look over in the notes, it says they are three quarter inch diameter and they set off one inch off of each side of the plate. So I know my column is eight inches and I want my base plate to be 12. So if I take eight from 12, that leaves four inches. So it's two inches on each side. So if I do an offset and I put in two and I offset this rectangle, and just to be safe, I want to go and measure this. And it does say that it is 12 by 12. Then you can see that my anchor bolts are offset by one inch from that. So again, I'm just going to offset that one inch and that way I'll have the corner points for the center of my anchor bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here. Now, if I look in my layers again, I do not seem to have a base plate layer. So I'm going to create one because I wanna be able to turn everything on and off in the views that I want. So I'm going to put in S base plate. And again, I want this to be probably a green color because I want it to be um, a bold line. And then I'm going to pick this one and put it on the base plate layer. And I can see that my layer is set with a hidden line and that is not what I want. I want it to be a continuous line. So I'm going to go in and change that. And now that is done. My anchor bolts, I need to put them on their own layer. So I'm gonna create another layer and I'm gonna call it S anchor bolt. And I'm gonna make them yellow just so that they, we have a little bit different contrasting colors here. And I'm gonna make that my current layer. So at each of these corners, I'm gonna do a circle with a diameter of three quarter inch because that is the size of my anchor bolts. And again, I forgot to check my layer. It needs to be continuous. Now I can just copy this from endpoint to endpoint, and then I can get rid of this rectangle. Now we are ready for dimensions. One thing I want to make sure and check is that my annotation scale is now set to one and a half inch equals a foot. If it's not, I need to change that so that when I put my dimensions in, they come in correctly. The second thing I need to do is I want to switch my layer to my DIMS2 layer. The reason we have a DIMS2 layer is because we want to be able to control the dimensions that are on the quarter inch plan versus the dimensions that are on the one and a half inch plan. I'm gonna make this my current layer. And now when I go to do dimensions with my one and a half inch annotation scale set, they should be correct sizes. So I'm gonna to go to my linear dimension and I'm first going to start with the edge of my slab, and then I'm going to go to the end point of the base plate, and I'm gonna pull that up a distance. And then I'm gonna do continue to the center, and then to the midpoint of the column and the base plate, and then to the center of the anchor bolt, and then back to the edge. Now I kinda of have a mess. So the best way to do this is kind of start to pull things up. So this dimension here and this dimension here are basically in the same location. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna pull this one up and I wanna line it up as close as I can to that one. 
So now I don't have a problem reading my dimensions other than this two inches. So with it, I'm gonna take it and pull it up even higher. So now I can read my two inches, my one inch, my five inch, my five inch, and my one inch. And my one inches are looking similar, so that is a good thing. The next thing I need to do is do an overall dimension of the base plate. So I'm going to pick here and pull it up above this. Again, my one foot is sort of on my grid line, so I want to take that and move it off of my grid line. I don't want it to not be able to be read. The next thing is I gotta do the dimensions in the other direction. So again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pick the end point, the center point, pull it out, go to continue, click the center line of the column, pick the center line of the anchor bolt and then the edge of the plate. You notice I did not dimension the column. The column is taken care of in other ways. So it would just be too many dimensions on here for me to do that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one inch down and it kind of dropped it out here. So again, I can just slide that back to there. And this one I want it to do similarly, bring it up like the other one. Now you see it overlaps here. So I need to stretch this out because I don't want my dimensions overlapping other dimension lines. So I'm going to stretch this out a little bit further. And then I have to finish up with doing my overall dimension. And again, I wanna pull this out some. Again, my one foot is on my grid line, so I want to pull that down to where there's no problem reading that. The only thing I have left to do is I need to put a detail mark in this view showing the cut through the column and the base plate. I'm going to steal this one. You notice now it's a different dimension. That's because with this one, we were at a quarter inch scale. So I'm going to go to copy and I'm gonna pull that over here to the side and I want this to be over here and I'm going to draw a line from it. Once I have my line in place, I'm going to move it up to where it's more centered in the column and it's not overlapping any of my text so that I can read all of my dimensions. The next thing I need to do is I need to match the line that I drew to the detail mark and put it on the same layer because when I drew it, I was still on a different layer. Therefore, now it now matches. We have completed this part of the enlarged anchor bolt plan. We will add notes later, just like on the major anchor bolt plan as we discussed. The next part will be setting up the sheets.